Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Theories, and welcome back to Gundam Breaker 4. Uh, today we are going to do some more missions, of course, because apparently I was told there should be like a special tab under quests that turns up af sometime after Chapter 2. Do the Pac-Man mission. It is still not here, so we're going to keep clearing quests until it is. But also, just to show off the new abilities we uh, unlocked, Synthesize lets you uh, combine parts to level them up. Right now, the rarity cap is 5-star, which is probably the top, I'm thinking. And the level cap is 13, which I'm sure will increase as we go in the story. Uh, you know, I'm sure it's uh, the level cap is there to make sure you don't uh, get too overpowered too quickly. But, uh, yeah. Um, brain? But, yeah, this one, if two parts have the same... Uh, the same skill, I believe that the skill is supposed to uh, level up a little bit. And uh, beyond that, yeah, there, it's supposed to level up the parts themselves, which... Let's see. Interesting to see that the uh, Serpent Custom Heads have different experience levels at... Uh, or the different heads in general do. That's, that's an interesting thing, even though I know I haven't used most of them. But, okay, let's... I'm going to find something I have like a zillion arms from. Let's try combining these two Serpent Custom Arms. Just to see how uh, how it works. Where do you live, Serpent Custom? I also have a bunch of Graze Arms I could stack, but... Let's see. Where are you? There it is. Level 5 Serpent Custom. Uh, let's combine the two One Stars to... Uh... Yeah, we'll combine the two one stars to make a two star. I think. Um, or maybe. Okay, these both have flinch gauge capacity, so let's see what happens when I combine them. Um, oh, I can combine multiple parts at once. Okay, let's pile them all together. What the heck? Select equip abilities. From this screen, you can select abilities to equip to a part's ability slot. Selected material part comes with an ability. It can be inherited by the part being enhanced. If you uh, use material parts with the same ability, the ability will be upgraded. All right, so... It has... Let's see. Uh, flinch... I am obviously going to give it level 9 item drop. Okay, apparently I'd have to pick... I have to pick... It's a 2-star, so it only has 3 ability slots, so... I'm going to replace flinch gauge capacity with item drop and see what that does for us. But I think recover hit points and break combo are a pretty good uh, set of parts. So next from this screen, you can check how parts will develop when they are synthesized. If you don't get the result you expected, try reviewing the materials. All right. This is going to cost 100 GP to do. Um, it is going to increase the skill uh, of recover hit points on attack hit. Uh, item drop level 9 is not bad. It's going to take the part level up to 7, so that will give it uh, more power. We'll do that. And, yeah, we now have a level 7 Serpent Custom Arm. Yeah, I'm probably going to spend a lot of time stacking uh, parts I already have off camera at some point in the next few days. But for now, we're just going to keep going for the moment. Um, But let me just be... Oops, didn't want to go leave that. But before we move on, let me just show you what the other kind of uh, uh, ability we unlocked is. For example, let's take the Mass Production Gelgood. Here's Derivation Synthesis, which lets you choose from other parts you can develop from this one part. So, yeah, I can remodel... Gelgug uh, part into Shars Gelgug commander type into the Gelgug Jaeger or the Johnny Ryden Gelgug. So see the Gelgug Jaeger okay yeah it's an arm so it has the beam spot gun. Johnny's Gelgug and Shars Gelgug don't have any built in weapons so yeah so that is how that works. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that on anything quite yet because I'm not sure what to use it on. Let's see. Well, maybe I'll try the derivation synthesis on one of these, like, 
uh, identical or practically identical Zaku two legs. And from Zaku two legs, you can get Garma Zaku, the Guf Custom Zaku uh, uh, tank Green Makaku, which I swear to God was uh, called Green Macaque uh, like just a couple of days ago. Um, GPO two legs. That's an interesting uh, development. Um, Zaku Mine Layer, Shin Matsunaga's High Mo Zaku, Johnny Ryden's High Mo Zaku, Zaku Kai, or the Standard Goof. So yeah, it's not bad. Some of those had built-in weapons. Uh, GPO2, uh, yeah, GPO2 has, uh, built-in beam sabers in the legs. Uh, Zaku Tank has rocket pods, and of course the, the legs are treads. Zaku Kai has a hand grenade. Yeah, so that's a nice feature. Like, that reminds me of one of my favorite things about G-Generation Genesis, just seeing, like, the tech tree. Let's see, Gun Archer's legs can become gum Gundam Heart legs, and that is it. Interesting. It does give them transam in the uh, process. Gun Tank can become Gundam, Gundam Ground, Zaku Tank, or Gun Cannon. Yeah, so, let's see, Gundam Kimaris can become Astaroth or Kimaris Vidar. Nice. And one last one I'm, I'm curious about. Hygog. Hygog can just become Zagok. Nothing major. Oh yeah, Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt legs can become Double Zeta, Full Armor Unicorn, uh, Perfect Gundam, Atlas Gundam, uh, Gundam Alex with Chobham Armor, Gym 2 Semi Striker, or Full Armor Night Gundam. Neat. Okay, yeah, so... There are tons of options there, and like I could spend all day looking at that if I if I were, uh, you know, not trying to bore everyone to death uh, on this video. So, which is not my usual goal. So, hey. yeah, I will uh, I will do that. I have a feeling that if this is like the first mission of chapter two, I'm about to. Uh, about to hit a difficulty spike, and I'll need to have been combining things, even though I'm not. So, let's see if this ends up being a very long mission like the first one of Chapter 2 was. I'm hoping I'm a little bit better uh, equipped this time for that, but we'll find out. Either way, Zeta plus A1 types, I am there. Let's do this. I may do this, I may only do one mission in this video, because I'm starting to get a little hoarse, so. But... Glad you made it. Did you hear about Meister Jin's challenge? No, but you look afraid of it. Who is See. that? I guess I'm not surprised you don't know about him, Lillen. Meister Jin is GB4's best player. He's practically a legend. Okay. His record is insane. His team is expected to win every tournament this season. Practically unopposed. He really does live up to his name. Anyway, he helped the devs to come up with a special limited time challenge mission. We've been improving a lot lately, so I figure we could use it to test our skills. What do you think? Eh, why not? Nodding. I would like to attempt this test. I want to use what I have learned. Okay. All right, it's decided. The rewards are good too, so that's something else to look forward to. I can't believe we're actually going to I mean, yeah, Zeta plus uh, Zeta plus A1 parts for sure. I like the A1. Hooray. <laughs> Like, I should probably okay, clip that. Sure. I will have a use for it at some point. But you're excited, right? Let's go show the champ what we can do. Yep, there we go. Very excited robot. Let's go. And let's head out and shoot a bunch of stuff. What are we fighting? No. Nope. Hey. Target enemy subjugation. So yeah, it's one of those where to get the best rank, I'm gonna have to ignore that superior Gundam and beat up its uh, its allies here. I am not yet sure if those are okay. Those are C ones because they have the beam smart gun. There is, you probably uh, know already because it showed up in Gundam Unicorn, a version of the uh, uh, Zeta Plus A1 
that is ju in the C1 colors. It is practically identical to the C1, but the, has uh, the uh, the A1 skirt armor, which is slightly different, and the beam smart and no beam smart gun. Just the uh, just a uh, I think it's the the same basic beam rifle as the Rizel. I could be wrong about that, but yeah. Okay, well. Yep, there's a Faz. And once again, in case you uh, never heard this, the Faz and the Full Armor Double Zeta Gundam are actually different units. They are the uh, Faz. I like to liken the Faz to a, the uh, like laptop, uh, the laptop shells you'll uh, you you or phone shells you'd see on display at a store, except someone actually rigged them to work. That is, that is practically what they uh, what they actually are. Because yeah, they uh, you could you could blow up now, please. Stop dodging. Stop. Ah, stop trying to live. Yeah. Well, at least you uh, were nice enough to fall down right back into it. And Sturmfaust didn't track enough. Okay, those were... Ah, Parts Enhance. Okay, yeah, so... And here is a Wound Wart. Nice. And... Couple, and also a TR5 of some sort or another. Like, yeah, Ad Advance of Zeta is where I really get into the into the weeds, uh, designing uh, or designing, remembering what designs are what. I should not be going straight for the wound board either because it's. Oh yeah, that's right. The TR5 is ta a target. I can go straight for the wound board, but I'll go for some of the hazels anyway because yeah, again. You know, the more breaks we do, the more uh, the more bonus we get. So, oops, my uh, range gauges are overheated. Something I should be able to tell, but when I'm busy mashing buttons, I don't always think. Okay, okay, this time it's wound wart. There are so many different spellings that end up for that in different places. Like one of one of the wound wart kits is named wound wart. One of them is named wound wart. And now we have Wound Wart instead of Wart. Um, wart, W-O-R-T, I mean, it's it's a proper name from Watership Down. But also, uh, Wart is uh, one of the substances you end up with in beer making, actually. I believe that's the, uh, the like, pile of uh, various grains and hops and what all that uh, sits there fermenting. That is the Wart. Again, as always, please consult an actual uh, an actual expert as opposed to what comes out of Rob's head at any given moment. Well, that hit well. Let's see, and I'd prefer you do not hit me in the back while I'm trying to kill your friend. I mean, I get it, but also no. I do. Okay, good tracking on that launch. Got that one. Let's kill this Faz, and then we will uh, go deal with the other thing. Okay, and a C1 or uh, two besides. Again, more breaks is better. Okay. Okay, we're running up on the time limit here, so there's the target suit. There we go. Yeah, that'll probably, yep, that'll end the segment. XS Gundam arm, wave one clear. S rank breaks, S rank time. Just what I wanted. Okay, yeah, so it's a little bit, uh, you know, I'm still, I'm still able to just mash and, and flounder my way through, or you know, flail through. More or less the uh, origin of the name, though specifically, Makes originally flail throughs meant trying to get through uh, games in Japanese that I did not, I could not actually read, which is, ah, uh, 
I don't know if I'd call it a skill set, but it's definitely a thing. Are we? Okay. I did. Yeah, but we get more points if I if we uh, get everything else too. But your wish is my command. Oh, I got grabbed. Yep, I got grabbed. Well, I'm tired of being grabbed, so I'll just smash that thing. There we go. Got more parts, enhanced parts. And here is some other stuff that w I will get to in a minute. Ow. Oops, not the button I meant to press. There's the button I meant to press. Yeah, I think I need more practice to really get a good gr uh, grasp on the whip uh, move set. It looks very useful, but I'm not quite there. Okay, yeah, it looks like a long press will, uh, will uh, pull things for me. That's an important thing to know. Okay, let's kill this thing since it's almost dead anyway. Get the hit, the gauge, and the break combo up. Get this age two out of here. Good. Oops. Yep. Yeah. At least one of my uh, at least one of my weapons is overheated. Yeah, we are falling behind at this point because we've got only gotten one of these things. There we go. Okay. Next. We've got Age 3. And we now are the proud owners of an Age 2 shield. Okay. Alright, let's find Age 3. There it is. No, I don't think you will. That worked pretty well. Yeah, they're definitely fighting back harder now. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to get S rank on this one, but I can try. Definitely... Okay, enemy approaching. Hopefully it's two of them together, because I can just awaken and do some smiting. Yes, and we have got the uh, Titus and I believe the Spallow, which is so obviously mistranslated from Sparrow, it's not even funny. We'll go after Titus first, because it's in front of me. Most important tar uh, the most important uh, quality a target can have. Okay. Okay, I'm almost out of juice here, so one, two, three. Totally missed Titus, but that's okay. I hit a bunch of other things, so. Well, I, I'm grateful to it for running through. Not what I meant to do, but... Yeah, this is... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not liking our odds here, but... I won't give up. Are you dead? It is dead. All right, now. There is Spallow. I assume that, again, I am assuming that's what it is. I haven't looked at Gundam Age in forever. Okay, it looks like I'm just... Okay, I'm, apparently you just, in addition for getting uh, parts for kills, it looks like you may get them for just knocking parts off of the uh, main targets, too. Not sure about that. I'm, to be honest, that may have just been... Uh, bonuses that followed me from the uh, from Titus, but I don't know. I like the... I, I certainly conceptually, conceptually like the idea of hitting these things until candy comes out. 
there we go. We made it under uh, under uh, estimate. Estimate. That's the word I was looking for last time. Not under budget. Max break combo still not very good. Apologies for the click. That was the arm to my chair. That'll stop happening soon because this chair did not work out. And I'll be having a new one soon. But, okay. Here we go. And we are going straight to a boss. And said boss is... Yeah, that was segment two. Uh, this is the Neo Zeong. Okay, the second Neo Zeong, if I'm not mistaken. It's massive. Yes, it is. We should be careful. You too careful. He is a big. I mean, she set me up for that. I can't not. Like that, if I remember for more than five minutes, that's going to be the episode title. Hey, man, that's with my GN field up. That's disturbing. Okay. I think I'd like to be away from that. Firing. There is no away from that. The beam disco is everywhere. Yeah. I wish I knew why it decided that the uh, best mu music for boss fights was like the uh, public domain version of the Pirates of the Caribbean theme, but I mean, it does the job. I have expected it to fall on me, honestly. Yeah, managing my target lock here is a little bit tricky with something this size. Oops. Boy, that hurts. Let's awaken. and field back up. Oh. Okay, well, I hit two out of three, but that does raise the question, how do I miss something that big? Okay, this... Man, those missile pods really are slow. Okay. Now. I'm disputing this, but that's okay. Just do what you can. Oh, good. I can just sit on top of it, at least temporarily. Okay, healed Tal a little bit. That was very necessary. Trying to lock onto the right parts, but... Oh, that's... Yeah, that works. Okay. That looks bad. Let's guard. All right. Bad. Let's get some piercing on. There we go. Oh, I like the uh, I like the hev the fl flying heavy attack for the whip. That's great. Okay, sitting on top of it, bad for my health. Oh man, GN field please. Uh, 
I am down. I, yeah, I'm not going to get this one underestimate. I, I'm only half done at four and a half minutes. I was, of course, afraid of this. Al? Thank you! Can I have my legs back? There we go. I need a little more to heal us. There it is. Yeah, definitely going to have to level up some parts. Oh. It looks like being downed also uh, also empties your awakening gauge, which kind of sucks. Okay, those missiles are about to be ready. Let's get them going. Ah, good. It's stunned for a second. I'm not sure if that... I think that did hit a little bit. Enough to heal us. Moving back. Okay. Alrighty. And Vulcans, because they're here. And so am I. That didn't work to do anything. Oh, that's cute. Al? Minor Al. Not a particularly significant Al, but now. Okay, well. Okay, yeah, so it can just it can just bounce off your face. Which, you know, if you're going to make something like half the size of a frickin' space colony, well that's an that's uh, an exaggeration, but if you're gonna make something this big, you, and it has that kind of uh, that kind of oh, come on. This is uh, power or weight, actually, not even just power, mass, you may as well make it so that you can drop it on your enemies. I guess so. You know, since it's Xeon, I guess the colony uh, comparison is in fact apt. As soon as I can heal you, Tao, I will. Because I'll need to heal me, too. I know, Tao. I know, Tao. Where are you? I don't even know. Healing. I don't even know if that hit him. It's really not. It's just more time-consuming than I was hoping. Again, kind of figured this would happen, but... Oh. Ow! I can't take much more either. Anybody? Anyone? Thanks, bud. Okay. I will come do the res. Gotcha. Yes. GN field up for whatever it does. I might actually have to read the description like a smart and so find out what it does. But yeah, if, to be totally honest, if, uh, if, uh, this would be done if uh, getting killed didn't reset your awakening gauge. Which I mean... There should be a penalty. I get it. I really do. Doesn't make it feel any better in the moment, but it makes sense from a gameplay perspective. Okay, yeah, I just got a Parts Enhanced 1. We are smacking it until candy comes out. Perfect. Got it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, that was another long one. Well, 
uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, pretty much they're going to start every chapter with a difficulty spike as they introduce new features that would let you overcome it. I got it. Hey, no need to thank me. I love helping people learn. I mean, that's a good attitude to have. And it's better than lording your knowledge over other people. So that's, you know. I'm glad that it went well. I admit, I do not like the idea of receiving help from bugs. Okay. SBS, SSB, overall rating probably averages out to A, I'm thinking. No, somehow we still got S. I'll take that. And a four star Z to plus A1 head. Take that for sure. We have now cleared a million GP. We are almost to builder's rank seven. Synthesis parts. Yep, we'll take a look at that. All right, so we got a level 9 S Gundam Saber, level 6 uh, Beam Saber. Yeah, it looks like a fairly standard RX-78 model to me, but I don't know. And, yep, that's what that looks like, too. We got uh, the XS's Beam Smart Gun, which I may give that a try, especially because it's a 3-star level 11, but... Uh, We'll see what I decide to do. Got the Hryer's head. There's that A1 head, which has uh, head Vulcans built in. And has some... Oh, I guess the icon means it's the uh, mission part. But yeah, it's a level 4 star rarity, a level 5 head, 3930 hit points. A bunch of different skills, including hit points. Uh, wound, uh, wound Wart's uh, torso. Um see also an arm two s gundam right arms uh age two normal arm age two double bullet arm uh excess and double bullet arms i wonder if the double bullet is what showed up with titus and not the spallow i bet it is okay an excess gundam arm uh wound wart legs so i got most of a wound wart that's nice um s gundam backpack Age 2 shield. And, yeah. Uh, looks like 236 part enhance, uh, level 1 part enhanced plastics. Yeah, I'm not selling anything. Alright, let's see if we get any more cutscenes or if we unlock anything else and then we will call this episode for now. Okay, there's murmuring. Kind of Alright, let's see what our commotion is. I wonder what's up. Who are we? Good job on that oh. mission, you three. I was hoping someone would beat my challenge. Are we the only ones who did? Wait, your challenge? It's a good-looking suit. I like it. Tell, is this person your mother? No. No, he's not my mom. Meister Jin. I can't believe it. This is. I mean. Is it really you? I assure you, it really is. I asked them not to put my avatar in the marketplace, so I'm pretty hard to fake. Nice. You are Meister Jin? Tao says you are the strongest player in GB4. What do you want with us? I heard... Okay, his voice just cut out. I've been watching people attempt my challenge mission through the monitors. Okay. It was you who used Awaken, wasn't it? Yep. Not just anyone can use that skill. It's an ability that can only be used by those who truly connect with Gunpla and Gunpla battles. Okay. It seems there is incredible potential within you. Okay. Oh man, a compliment from Meister Jin himself? I am so psyched! But he wasn't talking to you. I know, but seeing your friends succeed can be exciting too, Lilin. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I get it. You both showed great promise as well. That challenge was no easy task. You should be proud. I appreciate it, Meister. Our whole clan has been working really hard to get to your level. I see. Then why don't you try competing in the next round of clan battles? Okay. 
They should be announced right about now. Of course. Right. So that's what Gunpla battles are all about. Hey, hey, it's Rico. Thanks for tuning in. I don't think that's a bad spelling for Rico, but given that there are G Rico parts in this game, it's I wouldn't have picked it. Um Do we get prizes? Like, a, or do we get like a special gun plot? Like we'd get a special mobile suit in GBO2? I'd be fine with that. Fighting in clan battles, you can improve not only your individual skill, but that of your entire clan. And after what I saw today, I think your clan is ready. All right. Right. Thank you so much. We'd be more than happy to participate. Glad to hear it. I look forward to watching your battles then. Okay. Meister Jin wants me to compete. He's even gonna watch my matches. It's like a dream come true. Wait, maybe it is a dream. Lillen, quick, pinch my cheek. You want me to damage your gunpla? <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I don't what? think. No, not literally. Come on. How are you not excited about this? She doesn't get excited. You're At least not externally. Today, Tao. I did feel great strength in that Meister Jin person, though. It was familiar. He was like you. Okay. Yeah, I'm confused too. Well, kind of. All right. Let's see. Got a new uh, piece of mail. All right. Yeah, that is. Uh, that is uh, what is up next. I assume is a clan battle or a story mode equivalent thereof. And I see. Okay, well, apparently we both belong here. I'll take that. Okay, and Aya, ah, yeah, she's over here. Let's talk to her, and then we'll. Oh my. Okay, nice. All right, I'm just gonna look and see if if the uh, special missions have unlocked yet. Uh, no, no, they have not. Okay. Okay, but yeah, next time we will go, uh, uh, we will go, uh, do start the, uh, clan battle, uh, subplot there. Yeah, still, yeah, still no, uh, sign of the, uh, special event quests, but you know, we'll keep an eye out for those. But yeah, I am going to try to, uh, upgrade and rebuild between, uh, uh, between videos here and that is going to do it for today's gun and breaker four we'll be back soon with more till next time everybody take care and have fun later <laughs>